Hello ladies and gentlemen, I just made a video a few minutes ago, I forgot to talk about some things I want to talk about, um, I'm here for a lot of, you know, I'm here with Sandy Wright, I've been talking about, we've been together for years and everything, um, you know, and I think it's only fair to let you know that, you know, I like, I've, I've already told quite a few people and everything, but, um, you know, I mean, thank God I have her in my life. Because I've been through a lot of rough obstacles down the road in the past three years. It'd be three years this May, May 21st. My mom passed away of the big old C word, cancer. Okay? She was there. Sandy was there. Even with a bad back, she backed me up. She was there. Cindy was there. Okay? Now, that takes a lot of freaking credit, a lot of freaking time. I mean, she's got the heart of gold that a lot of other people don't even have a quarter of that, or a drop load of that. Okay? I'm not trying to compare every single person on this planet, for Christ's sakes, but you know where I'm coming from if anybody else is experiencing some problems like that. Okay? Right now, what sure is. Okay? Number one, okay, I now that three years has gone by and down the road, okay, okay, even after my surgery, I told you about my thyroidectomy, I got to take vitamin D every single day, my mood changes sometimes, sometimes, and without vitamin D, muscles don't work, you got potassium, I got to keep that up, those two points of lower than last time, so that keeps your muscles motive going, for me, you know, for anybody actually. But without a thyroid gland, what do you got? You got to do the supplement, man. You know, if anybody knows anything more about the thyroid gland than I do, come forward and tell me to take omegas or whatever I need to take. There's a lot of things I don't know, too, you know. Just because I know about medications and, and these recipes and stuff like that doesn't mean that I don't, I don't know every single secret. Just like Dr. Oz don't know, but know every single secret. I mean, there's professional people who go on his show all the time. He goes on live TV, and people teach him. And he's a doctor. And there's people that's outside. They're not even doctors. They're teaching him stuff. I mean, he's all ears. And that's where you learn education. It's not by being on a clipboard and going to school. Okay? It's called using your brain. Use your ears. Listen up. Lend an ear. Lend a phone. Lend a hand, get a number, talk to somebody, drop a dime on whoever's mind, whatever it takes time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just do something. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? Just don't let no, just let nobody tell you you can't do nothing and push you around like that. You know what I'm saying? So, she's saying, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm being serious. You know, I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. But be yourself. There's no one. Don't change a freaking thing. Nice words. For any freaking body else. Okay. Usually. I'm like, I don't know about you guys out there. Okay. You get a phone call. Or a letter. From your family members. When they're in a time of need. Okay. That's a my situation. I need 20 bucks, I need 50 bucks, I need 100 bucks, I need two, I need money, you know, what, what, okay, when I get a call from suspicious persons that I'm talking to within 20 years, let's say, example, my cousin, okay, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag, the cat dragged in, okay, there we go, I just told you, that's a hint, I, yes, the poor guy, he has MS, okay, he takes the infrared or whatever that bullshit is for hepatitis 2 also. And that he needs $50 a month. Weird he calls prior to the time of the day that my nephew calls and needs money to fucking pay his homeboys. Now tell me like I'm a two year old what that sounds like. I mean something's awful suspicious here and stinks. I, I open up a can of sardines what I have to say. I get better results out of it. My sister moves in. She asked me to move in here. Hell no. I got... I mean, there ain't no way. 
Cindy's place, she's got to think about taking care of herself. I got to help along assisting her, taking care of her. If I wasn't freaking taking care of her, who in the hell's, I mean, yes, there is other people out there, I'm wrong, that would help take care of her, okay? I don't know, I mean, get a handful, I don't know how many there is. I mean, for the money, yeah, sure. Don't do anything for the money until the budget cuts get cut, like they already are. You have fast job across eight miles. <laughs> Blow your ass for a end up. I mean, they do anything nowadays. People kiss your ass for anything. I mean, fucking. Uh, I'll give you an example. Okay. <clears throat> you have some something to turn somebody on. Everybody has the key to success that turns the, the gateway to their mind on. Whatever their mind is on is whatever turns them on. Example, it's like make a deal, plea bargain. What do lawyers do every day in their office when they prosecute or try to make a deal with somebody else? DEA, not the EA, but DEA office. They try to get charged for a lesser crime. Do you know why you get charged for a lesser crime? You want to take a deal like that? Because you do not want to spend 25 years to life in. He didn't know those kind of rights. You want to take a deal, maybe a manslaughter. I mean, anybody would take two years over 25 years. I mean, I know that I'm, I'm going against the, the justice system here because if the person deserves 25 years or more, which he doesn't, okay, then more power to it. Let him, let him do it. But our system is so screwed up nowadays. People, I mean, and they're broke. Okay, there's the answer. The broke, so they're letting out people that do petty crimes, petty, the petty crimes, <clears throat> rob, steal from people, whatever, shoot people, even to, and get off. I mean, they, they don't have they, it's overcrowded in prison, jail, or prison institutions. You know, they say go home and do drugs and die. All we give a shit. They don't care. They're not going to get on television and tell you that, but that's what they're thinking. I mean, I'm not stupid. I wasn't born yesterday out of, out of a Cracker Jack box. I know of, anyway. You know? Yeah, I'm not on crack. I'm on prescription medication, you know? If it wasn't for taking Xanax, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, you know, calm. As, I mean, I'm upset. I look, I look like I'm upset, but I'm not. Okay? I'm just trying to I get ex more excited and more pumped up into this shit. That's the only reason I raise my voice and everything. And I get on a subject that's like political, and I don't like that shit because I've seen, I seen a lot of people in Europe and a lot of other people in other countries, they get violent when they get into politi political injunctions and political this and that, yada, yada, yada. They, they start with fist fights. Okay. Now, that's, now I wonder why people need Xanax, huh? I'm sorry to say. I know the witch rods are hell. I know every day is hell. People drink beer to get rid of their problems, right? They go to the bar. I mean, that's an addict. Alcohol is a drug. I don't care what anybody says. That's a drug just as much as marijuana is. Or speed. Or LSD. Okay? Or any of the other drug, which I don't do that shit. I will never trip out on fucking LSD. I'd rather take a drink of vodka any day of that. I don't want to see colors and all this other shit, rainbows and all this other stuff. And well, they have a love drug out there. It's pretty freaking good, I've heard. But I really take the if I want a love drug, I'll take the Percadic, Percocet. That's what you know. Fuck that shit. Squash it. You know? Why do you think we call it Percocet? Because it perks. You know, perk. Get it, perk. Yeah, it makes you it makes you sharper. It's sharper in two different ways. One's your brain up here. They say your brain on drugs is being fried in a frying pan. I don't think so. When it comes to that, when it comes to that drug, it, the only thing it fries is it gets you hot downstairs. You know what I'm saying? Sorry to say, but Viagra has got blown out of the water and all that stuff. You know? Some men don't need Viagra. I sure in hell don't need Viagra. No, you need, I mean, without Percocet, if the volcano erupts, I mean, it's ready to go. You know? Ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. You know? <laughs> <laughs> No wonder you, you hear something about California uh, earthquakes, shootings, or whatever. <laughs> I'm just joking. Now, seriously, let's get back to reality. That's what this is all about. The reality is medical insurance, too, is below average. 
and we need to fix it. Fix the job market. We can't fix the job market without. I mean, people with high educations are not getting jobs. They're getting booted, booted out the door, booted off stage. The same way, I mean, these professional singers are. It's sad. Let's get to reality. I'm being honest here, man. I ain't fucking lying to you. I'm not pulling your leg. I'm being straightforward to you. Okay, you guys don't need a lesson from me, first of all. You already know this stuff. Okay, the gasoline's getting worse. The, the produce is getting higher. The meats went up 7% on some of the stuff, and it's gone up 10%. Coke! Coca-Cola! Yeah, called cocaine. So I wonder sometimes. It went up again. By golly, it went up freaking two dollars or a dollar the other day. I go in there and I tell them, no, it's four ninety nine for a twelve pack. No, it's five ninety nine. I said, go back there, sir, right now and look at the freaking damn thing and tell me what you see. Four ninety nine. He says he saw. So he gave it to me. Okay. Then, by God, the manager was pissed off that day, and I came back the next day for another one. And they should made sure that freaking 599 was on there. And I said, well, if I'm going to go in there, I'm going to get the cold ones, not the hot ones. Because they were saying, well, if you get the cold ones, you're going to pay a little bit more. I, I was thinking, that's unconstitutional. That's bullshit. No, it's not right. You know, so. Anyway, I'm going to end this video for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and call it for a while until I'm going to look up some more medical stuff. And I'm going to try to get on that cardi cardiomyopathy trip so there'll be a little bit of details but it may not be quite as good as a doctor but i'm gonna try okay give me a little bit of time to, to get my mind together and think and study a little more because it's lack of pumping action to the heart like i told you the heart muscle is damaged basically is what it is this is like your any kind of nerve if a nerve doesn't work or a spark plug doesn't work in your car it doesn't fire same way with your heart cardiomyopathy that's just a little sign of it okay but i got more details later on this is not about cardiomyopathy right now but i'm just it's about what i was talking about <laughs> i almost forgot <laughs> but anyway you guys have a good one i'm trying to do the freaking best i can on these videos if i suck i suck if you don't like me you don't have to look at me you don't have to watch me okay anybody don't like me out there just tell me be, be straightforward with me tell me i suck i don't give a shit Okay, I'm doing the best I fucking can. Okay, if you want to get me knocked out, whatever. Okay, but anyway, I mean, not, I don't dislike anybody out there. You guys, I mean. I mean, I can't say I like everybody. I mean, I'm going to tell you the fucking truth. Okay, I like most of everybody that, that treats me fair. So, anyway, this is, you know, not a apprentice. Okay, no one's fired. Okay, but you guys have a good one. And I'll see you on the other, on the flip side, whatever they call it. So, late. Have a good one.